Orange's stormwater harvesting system continues to draw interest from across the country. Built and operated by Orange City Council, the scheme has taken on the challenge of how to capture and make use of water that's come from an urban landscape. When rain falls on a rural environment, water soaks into parched paddocks and there won't be runoff into dams and creeks until after that moisture has built up in the soil. That's in sharp contrast with urban settings, where most of the rain that falls on hard streets, roofs and car parks will flow into gutters and stormwater channels. But what about potential pollution? Water experts wondered if that water could be cleaned up, if contamination could be removed, so that stormwater could make a contribution to the day-to-day -day water needs of urban residents. Orange City Council's pioneering search to find answers to those questions grew from the Millennium Drought, when the level of its main water supply dam fell to record low levels. That prompted a search for new water sources, and one of the options was stormwater harvesting. My name is Nicole Reid and I'm the Water Compliance Coordinator with Orange City Council. I've been with Council for nine years. We had a millennial drought down to 27% in 2008 in Sumer Park Dam, so it got quite low. And we had other sources of water to supplement our supply. Uh, the traditional catchment just wasn't, wasn't catching enough water. The idea behind stormwater harvesting within an urban area is that the paved areas, they're now sealed off, so you're actually getting additional runoff into the creek system. When we have rainfall, we have runoff very quickly because it doesn't seep into the ground and it'll run off straight into the stormwater drainage system along gutters and that'll get directed into the creeks and into the uh, wetlands. When the water runs off the car parks and off the um, industrial estates, um, there's going to be some rubbish. We have a gross pollutant trap that is taking out the large materials. You might have plastic bags or basketballs, shopping trolleys and the gross pollutant trap takes out those big bits of rubbish. We want to have lots of reeds in the water because they were chosen specifically to assist the process so they help get out um, your sediments and they use the nutrients to grow and uh, we've used native uh, plants uh, specifically for wetlands. The wetlands slow down the flow and in slowing the flow it drops out uh, sediments and cleans up the water a bit. Contaminants that could be um, in the water, the suspended solids and oil and grease uh, which can come off the roads. In a, in a nutshell they, they clean the water. Well from this wetland here on Cargo Road it'll go down further to another wetland uh, downstream and we've got, we've got four wetlands in total and we've got three pump stations which we harvest to, um, to the stormwater harvesting scheme holding dam. The holding dam is located at the northern part of the city. The holding dam, it, uh, it's about 240 megalitres and then that water can then get transferred to the batch ponds. With um, stormwater it, it can be quite cloudy, contain a lot of sediment. Um, and what we do is we add this uh, chemical, it's called a flocculant, and what it does is it attaches to the sediment and uh, helps it drop out of the water um, to clarify the water. What we can pump to Sumer Park Dam in a day is about six and a half megalitres, which is about 65% of uh, daily water consumption for Orange. The average annual um, volume that we can get out of this system is like 1,300 megalitres, uh, which is around around a quarter of Orange's supply annual supply. So it's quite a significant um, uh, addition to, to the supply. The stormwater harvesting scheme has been 
uh, really um, rewarding. So it's been really interesting because it was the first of its type in Australia. Really enjoyed like the water quality side of it um, and proving that the system is working, that we're yeah that we're achieving these targets that we've water quality targets that we've set to be able to um, transfer water to Suma that's safe for consumers.